know how to make a, a judge feel almost like a justice. <laughs> Thank you and welcome to Second District. I know you're not far from home and I'm so glad to have you all here in such big numbers. Thank you. Um, obviously, like uh, the previous speaker, you know who's the rule of law judge. You know who's run and won and has always been the strong backbone, doing what you need to do, applying the law to the facts, nothing more. That's the process of the rule of law. You don't decide cases by empathy. You don't go, hmm, which way do I think it should come out? Uh, no, you do what you need to do. And I have been doing that. And why would you vote for a court of appeals judge over a circuit judge? You tell me because I think you already know. Verifiable. Open track record. Open track record. Yes, experience. You may not like all of the 5,000 cases that I have decided. Now, I don't like all of the 5,000 cases I've decided. But the problem is this. If you're a rule of law judge, what do you do? You apply the law fairly, accurately, and sometimes this side wins, sometimes that side wins. Sometimes plaintiffs, sometimes defendants, sometimes Republicans, sometimes Democrats. Because the rule of law is the rule of law. It is colorblind, it is everything blind except what it should be, the law. I follow the plain meaning of the statute. I follow the plain meaning of the Constitution, and that is how I've been operating for 22 years. I am extremely proud of having won 70% of the I caucus endorsement. <laughs> Those interviews were grueling. My, I don't mind telling you, my deodorant failed during those interviews. <laughs> but they, they asked us the questions and we listened and nobody had a script. We had to answer from what was up here and right here. And that is what they heard. And I think it's a sign, I think it's an omen that Representative Dave Ajima beat Saul and Nooses by 70%, 30%, that I won 70%, 30% for ICON. And I see Dave in the back of the room, and I thank him from the bottom of my heart for his endorsement, and I will promise that you will be so proud of this Court of Appeals judge that you elevate to the Michigan Supreme Court and my kids will be so tired of not having to deal with campaigns anymore. <laughs> and mom not home to cook meals. Uh, anyway, this is my son here and my, I mean, my um, beloved JA of 18 years, uh, Donna Fisher. And uh, they're all here this morning and they're hoping this is my last campaign. Next time it'll be an easier one. You know, thank you so much for, for hanging in there with me. I, I am counting on you heart and soul and we will have a justice from West Michigan, Grand Rapids, Holland, Ottawa County area for the first time since 1946. Let's do it. Let's mark it for us.